So today we will learn how to create a function block in FXYV PLC. Suppose you have several motors for which you need to you need same program to execute. So either you write a program for each of the motors separately or you can use function block. If you write the program for each motor separately it will consume time simply. So for this you can create a function block. Uh, suppose for uh, suppose you have a start button once you press start button one delay timer will start. After delay time is complete, the motor will run. The motor will run for a given time or once you press a stop button. So this is the small, uh, you know, sequence of the function block which I am trying to create today. So basically you need two timers, two buttons and one output for this function block. So let's get started with this. So this is the main program here, the body of main program in the scan area. Here in fun FB oblique FUN, I will right click and add new data. So I am writing the uh, name of my new function block that is motor1 suppose. Then OK. So this window is for motor1 function block here. This is labels and this is my region where I have to write. Uh, the data for my function block, ladder for function block. So before uh, creating ladder for function block, I will first use some labels which I need further in my uh, logic. That includes start motor input. So this is data type is bit variable input. Again, mo stop motor in case of any emergency or if you want to abort the motor running then variable input then you need motor output also motor sorry motor run output OUT it's also bit variable output then you need two timers timer 1 timer uh, variable ok timer 2 timer variable now you need to input the values of timer also so on delay sorry time that will be in a uh, word the variable input on time in word variable input so this is all I need with this now moving on to creation of ladder or function block so I am using here start start motor then stop motor now I will use as dummy as my variable bit sorry not input ut dummy output the 
with this much output i need one timer second timer timer 2 with on time and once this output timer 2 will execute and complete this will cut this line timer 2 guys and see okay so this is my uh, logic for the sequence just compile this okay compilation done now i have this function block here so i will drag and drop here level so now you can use suppose m1 as start let me expand this m2 as stop d10 has on delay time d20 is on time output again is a new ut by 2 so let's compile this let me start a simulator first anything you write in this verse d10 or d11 d20 sorry then that will be multiplied by 100 so suppose if i'm using one here in d10 so the on delay timer value will be 1 second if i'm using 100 then it will be 10 seconds so stop it system is running now let's use in d10 d10 d20 I'm using here three second delay, not thirty. Sorry, three second delay and uh, eighty. Eight, eight second and three seconds. So, if I press this button, start button, then after three seconds, I'm done. So how do I can by two? See, if I'm one is two, one more thing. First, uh, let me turn this thing off first. Motor section. This will be a. This I'm writing again thirty, sorry ninety. Now I will this on after three seconds. Y two will turn on. See Y two will turn on. And after nine seconds, the Y two will turn off. See now. If I start the button. Stop the button. I execute the stop button, right? M2. Then the Y2 will turn off. Output number this. So you can use this function on multiple times. So this is all for the function block uh, programming section. So if you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.